If you're a student or teacher who's new to AP Environmental Science this year, welcome. I'm Mr. Schmeeds, and my goal is to make your year a little bit easier by covering every single topic that you need to know for the exam in eight to 12 minute YouTube videos. For the past nine years, I've been helping my students get ready for the exam each year. For the past four years, I've been grading AP exams for the college board and making videos to help students and teachers like you. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and join this awesome community of AP scholars and teachers getting ready for that exam together. Now that we've gotten intros out of the way, I want to answer the number one question that I get from both students and teachers teachers every year. So after they've joined the channel and watched a few videos on here, the number one question that I get from students is what the heck does it mean to think like a mountain? And that's a great question. I say it at the end of every video, but I've never really explained what it actually means. And this dates way back to the start of my YouTube channel when I had no intention of anyone besides my own students watching these videos. See, my students all knew what it meant because I read them a story and explain what it means on day one of our class each year. But when other students and teachers started watching the videos here on this channel, they had no idea what I was talking talking about. So today I want to answer the question, what does it mean to think like a mountain? But I also want to explain to teachers how I use this as my day one activity for apes to set the tone for the rest of the year. Now, first I have to introduce you to Aldo Leopold, who is a writer and naturalist who's had a tremendous impact on my development as a science educator and an advocate for sustainability. Because of this importance to both myself and the environmentalism movement, I like to start day one of my class each year by reading my students an essay from Aldo Leopold's book, A Sand County Almanac, that's titled, thinking like a mountain. Now it's about three pages long, so I'm only gonna read you the final section here, but I have linked a PDF down in the video description below so that you can read it in its entirety. I now suspect that just as a deer herd lives in mortal fear of its wolves, so does a mountain live in mortal fear of its deer. So also with cows. The cowman who cleans his range of wolves does not realize he is taking over the wolf's job of trimming the herd to fit the range. He has not learned to think like a mountain. Hence, we have dust bowls and rivers washing the future into the sea. So after I read the entire essay to my class, I open up a few discussion questions that I ask students to talk about in their groups. Then I ask each group to share out some of their thoughts with the class. After that, students work together on Jamboard to come up with a class definition of what it means to think like a mountain, as well as why this class will require that type of thinking. Then I like to write this definition on the wall and keep referring back to it throughout week one as we start practicing FRQs or learning about the responsibilities that students have in a flipped classroom. Now, if you're a teacher, and you're interested in doing this on day one with your students, check out the video description below for a link to a free mini course. Not only does it have the resources and instructions for this day one activity, but it also answers the number one question I get from teachers, which is how do you flip your apes classroom? This free mini course will walk you through all of the videos, notes, resources, and documents that I use to flip my classroom and transfer ownership of learning to my students. Now, whether you're a teacher or a student, I wanna officially welcome you to the greatest class on earth and about the earth, AP Environmental Science. As always, think like a mountain and write like a scholar.